The next exercise is to deserialize the data from the JSON to your grids object. Okay, so to your applications. Okay, so we are going to load the JSON file back into our applications and uh, review it. Now, uh, let's open, and you can close this project first. Okay. Then open the exercise to start the file. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we are going to, uh, maybe the first step, we're going to see the task list. Okay. <coughs> So we go to student profile sama cs okay we are going to define the file dialog setting to load the report file yeah so we're going to open the dialog box show the dialog box and we are waiting for the uh, result of the uh, dialog box yeah now the second step is below this we check the user feedback okay from the dialog box now uh, as usual the comment uh, the if function should be at the bottom of the comment uh, oops okay yeah yeah okay so done the next one, we are going to read the report from the disk. Yeah. So you create a uh, you declare a string that read all the text from the dialog box, and then I'll go to the next. Okay, the next step is to deserialize the object okay as JSON. Okay, your uh, grid as JSON string will be loaded and then copied it there. Now let me make sure. Mm. Convert grid as JSON here. JSON convert doesn't exist. Return JSON. Hmm. Now we should be okay. <coughs> so uh, that is done. Variable, yep. So the next step, so let's go back to the task list. We have done uh, task 2C, the last but not least. Okay, the, la the task 2D is to display the save report back to the user. Done. Okay, so build, build the solutions. Okay, so make sure it's successful. Run without debugging. Put your username, maybe same. I use the value. Password 99. Log on. Okay, I'm going to check Kevin view again. Now, load the report. <coughs> okay, see the one that you make changes on the JSON file just now is loaded back here. Okay, that's it. <coughs>